Today I'm going to show you how to create your landscaping website so you can start reaching new clients right away. I've already created an account and chosen this Dakota template in the sign up process so we can start building right away. But we can also click Site, Reset Template to choose a new template. So I'll just type Landscaping. And I'll select this template again. Click Use Template to reset the site. And now we can start customizing. So you'll notice that this template is already populated with industry-specific content. And we can go ahead and change some of it to customize it for your business. I'll start by changing the name at the top with the name of my landscaping business. I'll just click on the text element and then click Edit Text. You can also customize the font, the size, and the style of the text. You'll also notice that this element is outlined in orange, meaning that it is global. That means you'll see this element on all of your web pages. When an element is outlined in dark blue, it means that that element would only appear on the page that you're working on. Now you'll probably notice that most of this site is made of cards, which incorporate text, images, buttons, etc. And different cards serve different purposes. So this large hero part of the website is made out of a hero card. To change the image, I'll just click on it right here and click Manage Content or Change Image. Then I'll click Replace Image. And you can upload your own images just by clicking the My Images tab. And you just need to make sure that the image you upload has a large enough resolution so that the image won't be too blurry or pixelated. I'm just going to choose an image from the Stock Images Library, which are copyright free for you to use. So I'll just look up Landscaping again in the search toolbar. And I'll go ahead and choose a different image. And then click Use Image. I'll just click Save to take a look at that. And now I want to go ahead and change the button and the text on the hero. So I'll click on the center of the card. And click Edit Caption. And here you can customize the title, the caption, and the button, as well as what the button links to. So I'll just change the text on here. And then I'll click Save. Now I want to quickly walk you through how to add elements to your page. We'll go back to the left side, and you can click Add Elements. Now you can see a lot of different elements that you can add, but I'm going to add a testimonial card. So I'll click on Cards. I'll scroll down to find the testimonial cards. I'm going to click More Designs to see what is out there. And then I'll add this gray one right here. So instead of just clicking on it, I'm going to click and drag it onto my website. And you'll notice that this green line appeared. This green line means that once I let go, all the elements below this element will jump down to make space for this new testimonial card. So you can customize the card with your own content like how I showed you. So just click on it. You can change the image. If you click on the text, you can click Edit Caption. So you can go through and customize the rest of the elements on the page. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and customize other pages on the website. So to navigate to another page, just click on the Pages drop-down on the top left. And I'm going to go to the About page. So I'll just click on that. So again, you can go and customize the text. And I'm going to go ahead and customize the team card right here. So I'll show you what it's like if I, for example, wanted to add some images to this card as well as change the text on it. So I'll click on the card and click Manage Content. So to add an image, I'll just click on the card I want to add the image to and click Replace Image. So you could add your own images 
You could use stock images or you can add an icon. So I'm gonna choose to click fancy icons and then add an icon for this card. And click use image. You can also rearrange the order on this card just by clicking on it and dragging. Once you're happy with it, just click save. I'm also clicking through to adjust the content and image position. All right, so now I'll show you some customizations I can make to the contact page. So we'll click on the pages drop down again, and then click contact. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the address on this Google Maps. So I'll click right on it and click edit address. So you can go ahead and customize this text like I showed you earlier. And now you'll see a web form. To edit the content on the web form, just click on it. And we'll first go ahead and edit the form. So this is where you can edit and add different fields on the form. If you want to edit the field that's already there, you can click on it. And then on the left, click under the label, backspace and type. You can also choose if you want to add a hint or whether the field is required or not, and then click Save Settings. To remove a field, just hover on it and click on the X. And to add a field, you can go through these tabs and see what's available. And I'll add a radio button. When you're happy with that, just click Save. You can also click on it again and click Form Settings. Just click through these tabs and you can edit your security, confirmation, and notification settings. Now I'm gonna go to my gallery page. So there's a beautiful gallery card on here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is change the gallery style. So I'll just click on the card, click more, and then you can change the design. So here you'll see you can convert this into a slideshow, into a grid style, a masonry, or tiles. But I'm gonna keep what I have right now, and I'm actually gonna click layout. And now I'm gonna increase the column spacing. See, that's very dramatic. So I'll keep that at 20. And I'm gonna increase the number of columns to three. And once I'm done with that, I'll just click off of it. And you can add and replace images like how I showed you earlier, just by clicking on the card and clicking Manage Content. I will show you how you can delete some images. So just click on the card, click Manage Images, and to delete an image, just hover on the image you want to delete and click the garbage icon. So now we've gone through all the pages on your website. And if you want to add a new page, it's very simple. All you have to do is click the pages drop down again and then click add page. So I'm gonna add a blog, which is really useful so that you can educate your clients and also provide a useful resource for them. I'll just name it blog and then click add. So you'll notice that this page has already been automatically added to the menu right at the top here. And if you wanna edit your site menu, you can click edit site menu. 
So if you want to add a blog entry, all you have to do is click blog on the left and then click add entry. So just add your title. Add your content here. You can add a featured image and when you're done with all of that, just click save. Lastly, we're gonna go ahead and create a mobile version of your website. And a mobile version of your site is so important because that's one of the most popular ways that people browse the internet. So I'll get out of the blog manager. And then I'm gonna go back to the home page. And I'll start by making a mobile version of my home page. So just click on the mobile icon on the very top. And now you'll see some notifications on the left. I'll just click out of that. And the very first thing I'm gonna do is click Smart Layout. This will fit everything into my mobile view so that I can scroll through and see if I need to adjust anything. So I think it did a pretty good job. I'm just gonna remove this background. and then click on this element and click the drag handle to move everything up. So now my homepage mobile version is done. To turn it on, I'll make sure that I click on the pages drop down. And I'll notice that this mobile toggle is already turned on. So that's good to go. And I'm gonna turn on the blog mobile view. So once I've done all of my mobile pages, so I'll make sure that I'll go through all of them. I'll go ahead and publish the website. And this will take everything online. To publish, just click publish on the top right. Make sure every page that you want to go live has been selected. And then click publish. So that's it for this video. You'll see it's so easy to create your own landscaping website to reach new clients. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact us at website.com.